Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. This is part two of my favorite discs of 2022, and I'm going to cover the mid ranges and the putters. So this year I've tested out 70 different discs for you guys on this channel and some of these discs made my bag and they're still in my bag. So I'm going to show you which ones those are. So we're going to start with the mid ranges and the putters. So here we go. This is the five speed category. We're going to start with the mana. All right. Now this new mana disc is awesome. It's a nice Heiser flip disc. It's a five speed disc. So we play a lot of woods golf in North Carolina. So you need a mid range that you can flip up and fly straight. You can throw flat and have it turn over. You can throw it on Annie and really get a nice big turnover or do lots of magical things. I mean, MJ's from North Carolina. You see what he does with a comet. That's basically what you need here in North Carolina. So mana is basically my version of the comet. You guys can check out the review I did on the mana up here. Check out the mana by Thought Space Athletics. All right, next up in the five speed category is my Rock 3 in Pro Plastic. Now, I really love the Pro Plastic. I've been throwing these for a long time. Main reason why I'm throwing a Rock 3 is basically because of this plastic. I haven't really found a good solid replacement for this plastic. Uh, in North Carolina, we get a lot of heat and humidity. This plastic works really good when your hands are getting sticky, when you're getting sweaty and you're kind of having grip issues with lots of other discs. This plastic by far has got such a great solid grip. And the nice thing I like about this Pro Plastic is it beats in nicely. And once you get a Rock or a Rock 3 beat in, uh, you know it's such a good disc, it'll stay solid. But I did a review of a Rock compared to some other mid-ranges. You guys can check those out. But yeah, the main reason I'm throwing this one is basically because of this plastic. All right, finishing up the five speed category is probably my favorite five speed one, which is the Pathfinder by Thought Space Athletics. I've got three different flavors of the Pathfinder. I've got the Glow version, I've got the Aura version, and then I've also got the Ethereal version. Now, the reason why I have these three right now is because uh, the Glow ones, my overstable mid range. Um, the ethereal version, this one is more my beat in version. It goes pretty much straight, but it also has a solid finish. All right, and then last but not least is the Cool Aura B Pathfinder. Really like this one. This one's nice and straight too with a nice solid finish. Pathfinder, such a great disc. It's nice and low profile. I really like that. Uh, feels good for doing uh, side arms and backhands. And uh, man, you can't beat it. All right, now I'm gonna go to my three speed disc, the Praxis, and I like the Glow Praxis. At first I started out with a Ethos a Shark Glitch, got my hands on a Glow Praxis, and this thing is solid. This thing basically goes dead straight. That's it, point and shoot, dead straight. If I need it to turn over, put it on a little ante. If I wanna do a little hyzer, put it on a hyzer line, but basically if you throw it flat, it's gonna go flat and flat. And the Praxis, as always with Thought Space Athletics, has got some sick stamps to it. I really like this one, but yeah, Praxis, great throwing putter. All right, last but not least to round out my favorite discs is the one speed category. Now I never thought I would actually have a one speed disc in my bag, but this year, the Berg has made my bag. Now, I heard all the hype about the Berg before I even tried it out. I was a little skeptical. When I first got a Berg, I kind of laughed at it, but I went and tested it out. You guys can check out the videos up here of my testing it out. I've actually done a several reviews on this, and man, there is nothing like this disc that I've found so far. You can throw it hard, it goes dead straight, and then it just drops, boom. I like the glow version because it's got good stability, doesn't do any turning over at all, gives you a nice stable finish, but not super overstable. But the grip is outstanding, feels really good, nice and firm, feels good throwing it. The Berg is pretty awesome. Check these guys out. Thanks for checking out, guys. You might have noticed I've got a lot of Thought Space Athletic stuff, and that's mainly because I really do believe in that company. It's not because they sponsor me, they've got great plastic. They've got great flights on their discs. They're really trying to come out with new stuff that you guys want. And the designs that they put out is second to none. They are top notch. And probably the number one reason I really like it is because the community 
and the company are all solid individuals. They're all really good and uh, they'll do anything for you. So I really appreciate uh, Thought Space Athletics. You guys need to check them out if you haven't done so. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Those are my favorite discs of 2022. If you haven't subscribed and liked, make sure you do that. Peace out. Somebody's on